despite the nature of this being a, a murder, um, the, you look at it and it looks so beautiful. And much of that is part of the fact that you've got the backdrop of Scotland in all its beauty Such and glory. Such a gorgeous place to die. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. It's idyllic. I mean, obviously, the contrast of all the gruesome things that are going to yeah. happen in it, but mm. as a backdrop, yeah. as a picture postcard, Loch Ness the is the beauty of Glencoe. And we did a, oh. a, a driving trip around the UK uh, a few weeks ago and, and, and made sure that Glencoe featured. And it's utterly breathtaking. Mm -hmm. I know. And I love it. Even at like half 11 at night, it's still bright. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. However, <laughs> Under all this beauty, there is a darkness uh, in this little sleepy town. And we should just set the scene a little bit without giving too much away. But there is a, a guy called Narsweft who is found murdered in quite possibly the most gruesome way I think I've ever read this morning as I was reading it. It's, it's really quite dark. We both looked at it and went, what? Sick mm -hmm. minds. You wait till you see it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, sure. it's one thing to see the description you know, on paper, but it's, uh, it is pretty gruesome. Not for the faint-hearted. Not for the faint-hearted. And at the same time, there is also a, uh, a what is a, a fake Loch Ness monster, apparently washed up on the on the side of the loch, and uh, with a human heart inside it. Yeah, um, and my character, I play Detective Annie Redford, and she's lived and worked in this local village, and um, suddenly this, this close-knit community is ripped apart by this series of murders that happen very quickly, and the whole town is just left devastated and frightened and suspicious suspicious of each other, but it starts sort of um, where she has no idea, she, she's hung over and she shows up on the, the shores of Loch Ness and she thinks it's just a prank and she gets it all cleared away and then we later find out that she's made a huge mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. And also what you find out about her character as it, as it develops is that actually she's she's got an awful lot of potential. It's been a bit pent up because yeah. she hasn't really had to use it. Yeah, I mean, at the age of 40, she's never actually worked on a murder case. I was going to say, are you <laughs> playing much older? Then? I thought she was a rookie. I thought she was like 18. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, she, so she's struggling and in comes Siobhan Finneran. Yeah, and she's desperate to prove herself to Siobhan Finneran's character, but uh, I think in that way where you're, you're over-eager, you can be quite annoying. So I think um, Quigley, who Siobhan plays, is, is a bit annoyed by her. Mm -hmm. But then they become friends at, towards the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she... Yeah, she ends up g gathering evidence that helps the case and proves herself to her. Mm -hmm. And so your part in this brought in... Is a, he's actually a bit of a uh, celeb, isn't he? Sort of written psychology books and stuff, and you're the, you're the forensics guy. Yeah, he's certainly... He's a, he's a, he's a high achiever. He's the, the forensic psychologist. I always have to remember that, the proper way to say that. Written books, court criminals. He's drafted in to be part of the team to try and get, you know, in effect, get into the mind of the killer, work out through the style of the, of the, of the gruesome killings, what mm. kind of person would do that? Would do that, yes. So um, it's not about the monster in the loch. It's about the fact that the monster could be a person or could be people. That's right, that's right. And you find out as you go along, well, everyone seems to have something shady some that they're trying to keep to them. Yeah, some kind of connection which leads you on these different sort of strands, mm. which you hope is going to lead to the killer, but sometimes it's like, no, we've gone up a, you know, a blind alley, as, in effect. So, yeah, it, it keeps... Uh, it keeps us on our toes trying to find out who it is, doesn't and it? And what really kept you on your toes, which you didn't quite bargain for, was the uh, midges in Scotland. I mean, I like them, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I yeah. had yeah. no idea until this morning. She has that with morning. her porridge every morning. <laughs> I had no idea the, 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 the situation that's unfolding up there. I didn't know that in the su spring, summertime... Have you never experienced... I have never, oh, not to this extent. I, I mean, I, I get bitten. <gasps> I used to go fishing in Scotland with mates, and we had to run from the... From the we stayed into the restaurant door, which is about 200 yards away. So had to run like hell yeah. uh, to get in there, batting yourself off. Totally. The whole crew were in nets from head to toe. Well, what's weird is that they're not there for, for, for the start of it, and then it's like they've all nudged each other. Yeah. Look, there's a, there's a film crew over there. Let's go over there and bug them. And then there's a... <laughs> We actually uh, got these for you because there is no doubt this is going to be a huge success. I, and thought, we'll I love the fact that you were looking two. in a different direction when you turned back. What a reveal! I love it. I thought you were blacking up. Wait, let's know what they were doing. I thought it was to make me feel welcome. I thought, oh, oh, we don't wear these hats oh anymore. <laughs> So did, you, did you have anything like that? I, the crew wore it, but yeah. um, obviously... Well, you can't if you're acting, I was, Well, course. that's the thing, you see. I, for a while, I was doing this a lot, and trying, well, trying not to do that, thinking I've got to be cool and just pretend they're not there. But after a while, you can't pretend they're not no, there. No. So I made it into my character to swat, and swat the way yeah. in a kind of... 
you know, suave and sophisticated way. Kind of when you're way, in yes, your eyes you and up your stop. nose and up yeah. your nose, everyone, yeah. but you like on them. your tongue. I love them. But yes. what's that stuff called? Bog myrtle. Bog myrtle. Bog myrtle. Have you heard of bog myrtle? No. It's like an essential. No. Oil. Well, this is what we were talking about before. Right. Apparently, it's an oil. You put it on. You need to know this because okay, series two will time. be around the corner. And it's an oil, and they don't like that. Ah, bog, bog myrtle. Bog myrtle. Everyone yeah. was lathering us in this body lotion that it, everybody was swearing that no, they weren't swearing. They were. <laughs> well, <laughs> they were. Assuring, heavily assuring imploring you. that you were. Yeah, <laughs> but it didn't work. Uh, well, well, listen, I can't, I can't wait, wait for it because it, it, it looks it? stunning and it's a yeah. great story. Yeah. yeah, but am I the best in it? That's yes. what <laughs> you are. It's very difficult to that scene. Same. I know it's, it's not about me, but I need to know this. It's very difficult. We'll talk about it later. We thought so. Apart from Siobhan. Right, okay, forget Who is such a laugh? She was, she's hilarious. She's got O'Brien in, in uh, Dancer, she's so serious. If you look at her in that picture there, you know, she's got oh, a steely God. look. But she's such a funny Yeah, person. and she has this face that is always on the verge of hilarious Which laughter. Which is quite unprofessional. Yeah. Because, you know, what, what, I, what I love about, you know, what great writing is, it, it motivates everyone to work together as a team, even yeah. if you don't actually get on with them. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't believe that for a second. No, well, I've worked through this.